and welcome to Varya Yoga. Today I'll be demonstrating moon salutations and we'll be moving sideways. So when you're ready, grab your mat and let's begin. Let's begin the class nice and slow today to create a beautiful fluid sequence. And when you're ready, inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, lean towards the right. Inhalation brings you back up and exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back, stepping your left leg out towards the end of the mat. Exhalation lowers you down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, lift up, turning your left foot over towards the back of the mat and exhalation lowers you down into Trikonasana. Keeping your knees locked here and try to push your upper hip towards the back, which will help you open up the hips nicely. Exhale, release the arms towards the mat to frame the foot and lower yourself down into Parsvottanasana over your left leg. You can keep your hands on the mat to help with the balance or you can bring your palms into the heart center in a prayer position. You can also take the reversed prayer position here if you'd like, trying to keep your back nice and flat. Exhale, release the bind and begin to lower yourself down into Anjanayasana, which is your low lunge pose. Make sure here that your front knee is above your ankle and your hips are nicely facing the back of the mat. When you're ready, on an exhale, you can also take a little back bend here to increase your spine flexibility and strengthen your upper back and core muscles. Inhalation brings you back up and with exhalation, lower your palms back to the mat. Moving into Skandasana with your right leg extended and the foot flexed. If you'd like to try a little balance pose, you can place your hands at the heart center again. For a chest opener that I like to do, just inhale, bring the right arm up overhead, looking towards the palm of your hand. This pose improves your balance and increases your core strength. Exhale, release the right hand back to the ground and move into the middle into Malasana, using your elbows to push your knees away from each other and help you open up those hips. It's completely okay if your heels don't touch the ground. Just make sure your spine is nice and straight. Exhale, release the hands and move into Skandasana on the other side with your left leg extended. Looking towards the palm of your left hand, you can try and experiment if your right heel can reach down towards the mat. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and your back nice and straight. Exhale, release the extended arm back to the mat and turning towards the front this time, squaring your hips. Use your inhale to bring the arms up overhead and exhale, make sure you're pushing the hips a little bit forward and a little bit lower down. On your next exhale, making sure that your hips are still being pushed forward and that your front knee is over your ankle. To help you with the balance, imagine you're trying to squeeze your thighs in towards each other. Inhale, lift out from your back bend and exhale to your Parsvottanasana pose. Still making sure that your hips are facing forward and with exhale, lower your upper body down. Placing the hands in a prayer position in front of your chest or behind your back keeping them in Anjali or also called Namaskar Mudra. Exhale, release the hands and rotating to open up the whole body. Inhale, lift up slightly and exhale, lower back over the front leg into your Trikonasana pose or also called Triangle pose. This is a great pose to improve your balance and increase your concentration. Inhale, using your core, raise back to the center. Exhale, bending the knees and lowering down into Utkata Konasana. Stepping towards the back of the mat with your arms up overhead, exhalation lowers your body down towards the right, inhale using your core lift up, stepping the right leg out and lowering down into Utkata Konasana again. Inhale come out, turning your right foot out, preparing yourself for Trikonasana, exhale bending from the hips, lower your upper body down over your front leg looking up towards the palm of your left hand. It is not important how low you can reach, but that your body is in one line and your hips are nice and opened. Exhale, release the hand down, rotating the hips to face forward, and coming down into Parsvottanasana over your right leg with the hips facing forward. Your hands are in a prayer position again, or you can also place them on a mat Inhale, stay where you are, exhale, release the pose, coming into Anjanayasana. Make sure you're connecting your movement with your breath throughout your whole practice. To create a nice fluid movement and transition between your poses. Exhale, release the hands down, 
and come into Skandasana, opening your chest to face the back of the mat. This is a great hip opener pose. Exhale, release the top arm down and move into a wide squat, stretching the hips and groin muscles. This pose is great to relax and calm the mind. Keeping your spine nice and long, exhale, release and move into Skandasana on the other side with your right leg extended. Make sure to keep your right foot flexed and your leg active. Again, you can try and see if your left heel can reach towards the mat. With an exhale, twist the hips and slowly move into Anjaneyasana. Using the inhale to bring your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, pushing the hips forward and down. Keep tucking your tailbone under to protect your lower back from compression. Exhale, release. Inhale, come up and move into Parasvatanasana. Resting your upper body down over your left leg, keeping the hands on the mat for a balance or you can place your hands at your heart center again. Try to keep bending from the hips here rather than the spine. And then exhale, release the hands back to the mat. Opening up your hips, lifting up the upper body slightly and then exhaling, bending from the hips into Trikonasana. Keeping your chest nice and open looking up towards the palm of your hand. Inhale, lift back up through the middle and exhale, lowering down into the goddess pose. Inhale, raise back up and step to the front of your mat. For the following cycles, we'll move through the poses a little bit faster and more fluid, so get ready. Keeping your whole body in line, exhale, lower towards the left. Inhale, come back, stepping your left leg out, lowering into the goddess pose. Inhale, come up and turning your left foot towards the back of the mat. Exhale, lower your upper body down over the left leg, bending from the hips. Inhale, come out of the pose. Exhale, planting the hands on the mat, turning towards the back, squaring your hips. Lower down over the left leg into Parsvatanasana. On your next exhale, lower your back knee down to the mat. With an inhale, raising your arms up overhead. Open the chest and begin to reach your arms over towards the front of the mat. Inhale, come back, planting your hands to the mat and turning to face the front, opening up the chest and looking towards the palm of your hand. Exhale, release the top arm back down and hop to the center into Malasana pose, keeping your back nice and long. Turning your head to look up towards your right fingertips. Exhale, bring the right arm to the mat, turning to face the front. Inhale, reach both arms up overhead with palms facing each other. Inhale, come out of the back bend. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, lift up through the back leg. And exhale, bend over your left leg into Parasvatanasana. Inhale, open everything up, your hips and your chest, and coming into Trikonasana, looking up towards the sky. With your next inhale, come to the center, lower down into the goddess pose. Inhale, come out, stepping towards the back of the mat. Exhale, lower your upper body down towards the front of the mat. Inhale, come back, stepping the right leg out towards the front. Exhale, lower down again. Inhale, lift back up, turning your right foot to face the front of your mat. Lower your upper body down into Trikonasana. Exhale, release the arms down to Parasvottanasana over your right leg. Keeping your hips facing forward. Inhale, gently lift up and exhale, lower your left knee to the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, planting hands to the mat and moving into Skandasana. Your chest is facing towards the back of your mat. Exhale, release the hand to the mat. A little jump towards the middle into Malasana. This is a great pose to improve your posture and your core strength. Inhale, bring your right arm overhead and exhale, release the hand back to the mat. Rotating to face the back Inhale, bringing the arms up overhead into Anjanayasana. Make sure your left knee is over your left foot. Exhale, release the hands back down to the mat. Inhale, as she moves you into Parasvottanasana over your left leg. Inhale, moving into Trikonasana, opening your hips and your chest with your right arm extended up. Next, inhale brings you back up to the middle and exhalation lowers you down into the goddess pose. Inhale, lift back to the front Exhale, lower your upper body down. Inhale, come back to the middle. 
Exhale, stepping your left foot out, lowering down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down into Trikonasana. This pose strengthens your thighs, your knees and your ankles. Exhale, release the hands down and turning your hips facing towards the back of the mat into Parsvottanasana. Supporting yourself with the hand on the ground. Exhale, release your left knee down to the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, strengthening your core and your hips. Exhale, release the hands down and turning into Skandasana. Inhale, bring your right arm up. Exhale, release it back down to the mat, moving into Malasana. Keeping your spine nice and long. Exhale, release the hands and move into Skandasana on the other side. Exhale, release the hand back down, turning to face the front of your mat. Inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat. Through inhalation, moving into Parsvottanasana pose. Inhale, lifting up into Trikonasana over your right leg. This pose can improve your digestion and reduce your stress. On your next inhale, lift back up to the five-pointed star. Exhale, lower down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, lift up, stepping to the back of your mat. Exhale, lower your upper body down towards the right. Inhale, come back up, stepping your right leg out, lowering into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, lift back up to the middle, turning your right foot out to face the front of the mat. Exhale, lower down into Trikonasana, stretching the hips and the groin muscles. Exhale, release and rotating your hips forward, moving to Parsvottanasana. This pose helps with the flexibility in your hips and your legs. Inhalation brings your arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands back down to the mat, turning into Skandasana with your chest facing the back of the mat. Inhale, bring the left arm up overhead. Exhale, release the hand back down and move into Malasana, using your elbows to push your knees away and opening up your hips more. Moving towards the back of the mat into Skandasana on the other side. Exhale, releasing the arm and turning your body to face the back of the mat, squaring your hips, coming into Anjaneyasana. Exhale, lower the hands back down to the mat. And on exhale, lower your upper body over your left leg into Parasvottanasana. Inhale, lifting up halfway, opening the hips, opening the chest, coming into Trikonasana with your arms extended and parallel to the floor. Inhale, lift up into five-pointed star. Exhale, lower down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, step to the front of your mat, bringing your arms up overhead. Exhalation lowers your body down. Inhale, bring the body back up, stepping your right foot out. Exhalation lowers you down into the goddess pose. Inhale, lift back up, lowering your upper body into Trikonasana with your arms extended. Take an inhale here and on exhale, release the hands back down to the mat squaring your hips moving into Parsvottanasana take an inhale here and exhale lower your back leg down into low lunge bringing your arms up overhead on inhale exhale releasing the hands back to the mat and moving to face the side of your mat into Skandasana inhale bring the right arm up overhead exhale and moving to the middle into Malasana Exhale, release and move into Skandasana on the other side with your chest facing the back of the mat. On exhale, release the left arm back to the mat and square your hips to face the front of the mat. Inhalation brings your arms up overhead and then exhale, release the hands back to the mat. Lifting up into Parsvottanasana over your left leg. Inhale, opening the chest, opening the hips and lowering your upper body down over your right leg into Trikonasana. Inhale, exit the pose, coming into the middle and exhaling, lowering down into the goddess pose. Inhale, lift back up, stepping to the back of the mat. Exhalation lowers your upper body down towards the right. Stepping your right leg out, exhalation lowers you down into Utkata Konasana. And exhale, lower your upper body down over your right leg again. Exhale, move into Parasvottanasana. Deeply stretching the hips, hamstrings and the lower back. Inhalation, lift up. Exhale, lower your back leg down to the mat into a low lunge. Pushing the hips forward and then exhalation, releasing the hands onto the mat and moving into Skandasana. Your chest turns towards the back of your mat, lifting up your left arm overhead exhaling lowering the arm back to the mat moving into the malasana pose 
Exhale, exit the pose and move into Skandasana, facing the front of your mat. And inhalation brings your right arm up overhead, opening the chest. Exhale, release the hand back down to the mat. And turning to face the back into Anjaneyasana, into your low lunge. Exhale, move into Parasvottanasana. Still making sure you're keeping your hips nice and square. Inhale, lifting up the upper body, opening the hips and lowering the upper body back down over your left leg into Trikonasana. Inhale, using your core, lift back up, exhale, lower down into Utkata Konasana. And step back to the front of the mat, with your arms up overhead, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your upper body and stepping your left leg out and down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, lift, rotating your left foot to face the back of the mat, bending from your hips here, keeping the chest nice and open. Exhale, release your right arm back to the mat and move into Parsvottanasana lowering your upper body down inhale release exhale lower your back leg down to the mat inhale bring your arms up overhead in anjanayasana exhale release the palms bringing them back to the mat and opening the chest with your right arm exhale release the right hand back to the mat and move into malasana with your hands in the anjali mudra exhale release coming into skandasana exhale release the hand back down to the mat turning your whole body to face forward to the front of the mat, bring the arms up overhead, exhale, release the hands back to the mat, and inhalation brings you up into Parsvottanasana. With an inhale, open the hips up and the left foot out, coming down into Trikonasana. Remember that it's not important how low you can reach, it's important that your body is in one line and that your hips are opened. Inhale, come up and step towards the back of your mat and lowering your upper body down towards the right. Lift back to the center, stepping your right leg out and lowering down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, raise up and exhale, bending from the hips, lower your upper body down over the right leg. Exhale, release the upper arm, turning the hips facing forward and come into Parasvottanasana. Take an inhale here and on your next exhale lower the back knee to the mat and inhalation brings your arms up overhead into Anjaneyasana. Exhale release the hands back down and turn to face towards the back of the mat and with an inhale raise your left arm up and then exhale release the left arm and hop into the middle to Malasana pose. Release and come into Skandasana on the other side lifting your right arm up exhale release the arm back down and rotate your hips to face the back of the mat inhale raise your arms up overhead exhale release the hands back down and moving into Parasvottanasana over your left leg with an inhale rotate the right foot out opening up your hips lifting up the upper body slightly and then exhaling into Trikonasana inhale lift back up through the middle and exhale down into the goddess pose inhale and step to the front of your mat lowering your upper body down over to the left and stepping your left leg out exhale lowers you down into the goddess pose with an inhale rotate your right foot out and then with exhalation lower it down bending from the hips into Trikonasana Inhale, lift up and exhale, release your hands down to frame your left foot and you lower down into your Parasvottanasana. With your next exhale, lower the back knee to the mat and with inhalation, raise your arms over your head. Exhale, release the palms to the mat and turn into Skandasana with your right leg extended and exhale, release the arm down, hopping into the middle of the mat, into Malasana pose and then releasing the arms and moving towards the front of the mat, opening the chest towards the back. Exhale, release, turning your hips to face forward and inhalation brings your arms up overhead. Exhale, release and lifting up, moving into Parasvottanasana over your right leg strengthening the legs and the core muscles inhale using your left arm to open up the chest and lowering the upper body into trikonasana with your next inhale raise the upper body up and with an exhale lower down into utkata konasana inhale and step towards the back of the mat lowering your upper body down towards the right 
Inhale back to the center, stepping your right leg out to down into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, raise up, turning your right foot bending from the hips, coming down into Dekonasana on exhale. Twisting your hips to be square facing the front, lower your upper body down over your right leg into Parsvottanasana. With your next exhale, release the back knee down to the mat. Inhalation brings your arms up overhead. Exhale, release the arms back down to the ground and turning around to come into Skandasana. Exhale, release, hopping to the center into Malasana. And then again, hopping towards the back of the mat to come into Skandasana on the other side. Raising the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, release it and turning to the back of the mat. Squaring the hips, coming into Anjanayasana. Exhale, release the arms down and with inhale, come into Parsvottanasana. With your hips this time facing the back of the mat. Inhale, opening up and bending from the hips, come into Trikonasana. Looking up towards the palm of your hand. Inhale, raise up, exhale, lower down, bending your knees, coming into Utkata Konasana. Inhale, come out towards the front of your mat, exhale, lower towards the left side. Inhale, raise back to the center and exhale towards the right, coming back to the middle and inhale and exhale, release the hands into Tadasana. Well done, we've done six cycles on moon salutations. I hope you enjoy the class and you feel a little more relaxed and your mind is a little bit calmer. I would love to hear from you, so if you could please leave me a comment, leave me a like and subscribe for more classes coming up soon. If you have any questions, just please let me know, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Namaste!